Hello, uh, good morning once again, my dear Matthew 5 students. So we have here the continuation of our lesson uh, for today about the measure of central tendency. So we go to the arithmetic mean of the group data. So first, before we're uh, calculating uh, the arithmetic mean, or the average or the mean for the n group data we're in that we are only calculating the the row data we find the average mean for the row data now for this one uh, we're going to group the data we're going to make a group for the data that we collected okay so it means that they're calculating the average of a sample data in a particular category but this is in a group na? So we have here the formula again. We have the x bar, the arithmetic mean is equal to the summation or the sigma of fx, okay, or the product of fx divided by the number of terms. Na? So f here is the frequency, and x here is the uh, midpoint of the uh, scores or the data that we collected. Na? So here x bar is the mean, the frequency of each class. Mid interval or the midpoint value of each class, the total frequency, okay, and we have the sum of the products of mid interval and their corresponding frequency. So this uh, we have here the application. We have the examples. This one. So find the arithmetic mean of the data set provided below. So again, these are the data. From uh, the data is from the, the minimum is uh, 2 and the maximum is tw uh, 13. And these are the frequency that we got. Okay, the frequency for each data that we have. So for 2 to 4, there are 3. 5 to 7, there are 5. Uh, 8 to 10, there were 1. And 11 to 13, there were 2. Well, uh, there were two. Okay, so this is the usual way on uh, making the frequency table. Okay, so if just like before, if uh, we are doing or creating a frequency table, so we group, okay, the data by uh, each class, okay? So if there were like a lot of data that we collected, we create a frequency table be so that it will be easier to understand. It. Because if we're going to write all the datas, right? Like, for example, if there were like 20, 25 data, then there will be plenty. So it's much, uh, much better if we're going to make them in a group or create a frequency table just like this. Okay, for, for each class, there will be groupings. So uh, we're going to find arithmetic mean. Again, for arithmetic mean, we need, we need the sum of the product of f and x. Okay, f and x, we need that one. So we have here the f or the frequency, and x is the midpoint of the interval. Okay, the midpoint of this or the mid interval. So from 2 to 4, the midpoint is 3, right? We have there 3. For 5 to 7, 5 to 7, the midpoint is 6. So we got only get the mid interval or the midpoint. 8 to 10, we got 9. And 11 to 13, we got well, right now for this we will get fx or we get the product f times x na? so just multiply this 3 times 3 is 9 5 times 6 is 30 1 times 9 is 9 and 2 times 12 is 24 okay and by that uh, we need the sigma or the sum the submission of the product between f and x na? So we're going to add all of this. 9 plus 30 plus 9 plus 24 is we got 72. That is the sum of the product fx. That is 72. Okay? And also we need the total number of data. That's the frequency. The total number of frequency, which is n. n would be equal to 11. Na? So n would be equal to 11. So that's now we have here completed. We have the, the, the submission and we have here the number of data that we collected. So we can apply that to our formula. So we have the, the formula. 
uh, the x bar is equal to summation sigma of fx equal divided by n. We substitute the value. We have there the sigma fx, 72, and n is 11. We have there. And we just divide. How much that? We got 6.5. Okay? So meaning to say that among all of the frequency that we have, na, 6.5, okay, is the average mean. Okay? So you will see that there are for this, there are 3, there are 5, there are 1, there are 2. So therefore, we got 6.5, the average mean for this data collected. Question. Do question, my? So I hope that you understand. Now we have your second example. This one. So we have here given again the frequency table of the scores collected from grade 11 slash 2. So we have the, the frequency table. So the usual way of uh, creating the frequency table. We have the scores. We have the frequency. And we're going to find the midpoint or the mid interval and the product between the frequency and the midpoint. Na? So again, we find x. Okay? We find x first. So what is the midpoint of 6 to 10? That would be 8. Then 11 to 15 is 13. 16 to 20 is 18. And 21 to 25 is 23. And uh, 26 to 30 is 28. Nah? Now next is we're going to find fx. We multiply f times x. f times x. So 3 times 8 is 24. 1 times 13 is 13. 4 times 18 is 72. 5 times 23 is 115. And 2 times 28, oops, that is 56. So we complete again and we get the sum of the uh, fx, sigma fx. Okay, or the submission of fx. So you add all of this, 24 plus 13 plus 72 plus 115 plus 56, and that would be equal to 280. And also, we get the, the sum of all data that we collected. This one, the frequency, the, the sum of the frequency, and that would be 15. So our data are completed. Now we can substitute this to our formula. So we have there the formula again, x bar is equal to sigma fx divided by n. Now uh, we substitute that with sigma fx, which is 280, divided by 15, and uh, the answer would be 18.67. Did you understand my question? So again, you will see that um, the data, so we have here the data, we get the, uh, the midpoint of the data to be this, right? And the, and the average score for that is 18.67. Okay? 18.67. So it dragged up and down. It's dragged up and down. So that we can get this average mean from this one together with the frequency. Because for, for 8, there are 3 respondent. For 13, there's only 1 respondent. For 18, there is a 4 respondent. For 23, there are 5 respondent. 28, there are 2 respondent. Okay? And for all, for all of this, for all of this data, 18 to 28, the average is 18.67. So it's like similar to what we have in a, a combined arithmetic mean. Right? It's similar to what we have in combined arithmetic mean. Because for the combined arithmetic mean, we get the, we get the, uh, submission. Oh, no, no. Uh, the number of respondent and the average, the number of respondent, right? So it's like similar, but it's not really because this one is not the average, the average mean. It's not the average mean. Okay? That's, that's not average mean. But it's similar to combined arithmetic mean. Okay? So, question. Do you have any question, Mai? Question, question. Okay, so if you don't have any question, we have your activity for today. This one, we have two exercises here. So for this one, uh, for the first uh, uh, the, uh, topic that we have about the combined arithmetic mean, and the second one is about the group data. 
uh, arithmetic mean for group data. Na? Did you understand my question? Okay, so I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And um, please answer this. So again, uh, I will give you time to answer this until um, 10, maybe I think uh, 11 o'clock. So please submit this or maybe 12. So okay. I'll give you to answer this till 12 noon today. Na? 12 noon today. If not again then minus point. Okay, my. So I hope that you understand and uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me in my messenger or you can comment below. Okay? So see you again and bye-bye.